Okay, YouTuber, this here is my neck factor video. Uh, I'm doing a few of them right now. So, at least if you want my stuff weekly, you can see this here for a while. Because this here is one of the better relationship ones out there. Because I get the guy point of view. And I'm hoping to get the female point of view eventually in one day here, but never know. You I can always leave comments. But yeah, okay. Like dang, if you're dating someone and you go saying you don't want to be with the person, well, yeah. Like me, I'm using my accent because they're so very big in my life. Well. Then you end up dating when you're exit for someone new. More or less, all my exes know that I stay with them for a reason. Because I did fall for them. That was the issue. I fall in love with the crazy we out there women. <laughs> yes, they're crazy. But each one got a crazy way. They think they're normal, but... They're normal cool, in my way. What I'm looking for, mainly what I was looking for in a woman, was that exactly normal down to earth. She ha have to be a little crazy to get, be with me a little bit, because I'm a little bit crazy. Come on, I'm talk to you guys and I barely get no responses. But when I do, it's good, because, yeah. Like, okay, to me, my ex Amber, I dated her for five years, six years. We was on and off, like a lot of my exes. I, more or less, there was a lot of them that put on and off during the past five to ten years that I still talk to. Well, in between, me and Amber actually getting over each other, we telling her a family. So, I might reference her now kind of on here as like a sister type when I don't have, really have any sisters. Well, I got Maya and she's our dog that y'all um, would know. That she do appear in a video. But, she's kind of down there. But, other than that there. Yeah, I count people I day a family. That's why I'm so close to some of my exes. That's why I post some of the issues I have with them online here. Like the Ashley thing. Yeah, I know she don't want to be part of my YouTube. But I had to say what I felt about her getting pregnant, her laying me on and all this stuff. Whereas I got the message for proof of what she said to me when she said to me. So, more or less. She don't want to be a part of my YouTube, but she's a part of it. Like, anybody I know is a part of it. Amber comments once a week, or whenever she sees one DV. And I say thank you to her, because she's been also kind of keeping me on my toes. Any issues I have, I go to her, or a Jean, or somebody. I go to the women. Because my social circle is filled with females. I don't mind it. It's crazy. It gives us stress. But it's worth it. Because when you need them the most. You can ask the women. In question. They're a friend with you. And they say what they feel. And like actually. She started pulling back. On what she felt. So technically. Yeah. I think. That's why I ended my friendship with her tonight over it. But I know she's going Facebook talk me anyway, so really it doesn't matter. I'm going to allow... Uh, yeah. I know I got a Facebook docker where I don't mind it. If you're a fan of me, you can Facebook talk me. I give links. I tell everything. More or less, I get back to my fans, in that way. You can comment me, tweet me, do whatever you have to, to get a homie. 
I would read your comments and I reply right away. So, this here factors in a relationship, I think, well, seven, well, eight, ain't sure. We're in the hundredth now, so that's a plus. We starting to bring a big variety that's here going to help somebody out there somewhere. And that one might be about the other half of day, but I hope Alan likes it because, yeah, my brother Nick, he trying to find somebody perfect for him. So if you're into my bro, or want to get home, my bro, get home me on here. He's single. Anybody over age 18, I'll try finding him uh, uh, someone today through here if you want.